Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. In this video, I have a huge Timu nail art haul. If you're not familiar with Timu, it's an online marketplace with a ton of affordable products. I'm a Timu affiliate, so I do have a code which I'll put up on the screen, and that'll get you 30% off as a new user of the Timu app. I also have a link that'll be down in the description box, and that'll get you a $100 coupon bundle as a new user, so be sure to check that out. But I'm just going to jump into my haul, and I will put prices up on the screen and links in the description for every product product but i'm starting off with these nitrile gloves so instead of being latex they're nitrile and they are powder free and i just like to wear gloves now while i'm doing my nails just to protect my skin from the gel products i'm um, being that i do have a slight gel allergy i also went ahead and grabbed this bottle um, which you can use to dispense different liquids but i'm going to be using it for some rubbing alcohol just so i can have it like easily accessible on the table while I'm doing my nails um, so I'll kind of show how that works but I'm just filling it up with some alcohol really quick and then I'm grabbing one of my lint free pads and I'm going to use that just to kind of press down on the top of the container and it'll dispense a little bit of the alcohol and that's like so perfect because I'm always trying to like pour it on top and it just always makes a mess so this is just going to be super convenient so yeah um, this is just a small 60 meter, milliliter um, container but they do have larger sizes also the next thing that I grabbed is this poly gel brush so of course you all know the poly gel brushes have like the brush end and then there's a spatula on the other end I really got it for the brush end um, because I just like the shape of it and I feel like it would be good as a cleanup brush whenever I'm doing like French tip nails and then for the spatula in I thought it would be cool to use whenever I'm doing like a 3d nail design 3d flowers or whatever I can use that to kind of help shape it up I also grabbed this pack of 100 180 grit nail files so I got a pack of 10 they do have an option for more um, but I just felt like 10 was enough for me yeah, they're just 180 grit nail files. Can't go wrong with those. I also got this set of rhinestone gel glue. Um, and then it's also a nail file that comes with that. And I'll just use that to adhere my nail charms. I also got this chrome powder that I thought was super cute. I can't wait to use this. Um, I'm just going to put up on the screen the picture of it so you can see the price, but also so that you can see how it looks. And that's just over like a clear base. Um, and then I also grabbed some nail stickers. Of course, I always have to get stickers. And these are just some of those like trendy um, hibiscus flowers. I've seen a lot of people do different nail designs with those. And so I thought it would be really convenient to have for this summer. Now I'm getting into the nail charms that I grabbed. And this is a set of some of the Sanrio characters. So like... Hello Kitty and Cinema Roll and all of those different characters. So I thought this set was nice. I love the size of these. They're much bigger than most of the other nail charms that you can find of the Sanrio characters. So I love that. I also grabbed this set of, of course, some more flowers. So these are just some of the like small flowers. They also come with little pearls that you can put in the center of the flower. And I love that it has this many colors. It's just perfect. And I feel like I'm going to be using it a lot for all of my summer nail designs. Now I'm jumping into the nail tips that I got. So the first one that I got are these super long stiletto nail tips. They're full cover and I can use these to do like a press on set or do the gel X method. This is how it looks. I plan on rounding out the tip a little bit more to make it more of like an extended almond shape. Um, but yeah, I love those. And then I also got these square nail tips. So these are like a long square. I've had 2XL square nails, but I thought that this long shape was perfect. It's like not too long, not too short. Um, it has a nice C curve to it. So yeah, love that. And I'll definitely be making some sets with those. So 
So that's everything that I got in my haul. As always, I'll have links in the description box. But now I'm jumping into my set. I decided to do a really quick and easy nail design using some of the products that I got. So I have some of these ombre full covered nail tips on my nail stand. And I'm starting off with the flower nail stickers that I got. Since it's an ombre, I decided to put the pink flowers over the white portion of the tip and the white flower over the pink portion of the tip. I just thought that would look super cute. And then I'm going to use some of the nail rhinestone gel that I got to adhere some of the flower nail charms. So now I'm going to go in with the nail rhinestone gel and the cute little flower charms. I'm also going to add some of the pearls that come with the flowers. So I'm just putting a little dot of the nail rhinestone gel wherever I plan on placing a charm. And I'm going to just go in and kind of overlap it over the nail stickers and then do some of the little smaller pearls on the other two dots of rhinestone gel that I added and then I'll just flash cure that in the lamp and I'll just go on to the next nail so I decided to use this darker pink color I thought that it would just like go really cute with the light pink from the ombre and the pink from the nail stickers so yeah um, but I still really do love all the other colors that came in this set and I can't wait to see what other designs I can do with them To finish off the set, I'm just going to go in with some top coat and then I'm going to cure the nails for 90 seconds. I'm doing 90 seconds to make sure that the rhinestone gel is fully cured also. Since I just kind of flash cured the charms into place, I just want to make sure it's nice and fully cured.
Now that the nails are cured, I'm just going in with one of the 100 180 grit nail files and I'm just filing the very tip of the nail just to give it a nice square shape. Using the dispenser bottle, I just got some rubbing alcohol and I'm just wiping down the nails just to remove any dust. And that's pretty much it. I went in with some peel off base coat on my natural nails before going in with nail glue to apply them. And I just pressed them on really quick so I did include that footage. Just brushing on a little bit on my natural nail and then putting some inside of the full covered nail tip. I'm going to hold it on for a few seconds and that's pretty much it. So yeah, let me know what y'all think of the products that I got from Timu. Be sure to check out the links in my description box if you saw anything that you're interested in buying yourself. And of course, use my affiliate code when you do purchase from them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what y'all think of the nail design as well. I'll have some finished product videos and pictures at the end. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!